With me today, I have Jitter Shah, who is the president of Generate Capital. He was the founder of Sun Edison. I'm not here to suggest that solar power should be powering the world, but I think both nuclear and solar and all these other zero carbon fuels can be scaled up to meet the challenge. I have figured out how to get this right in solar and how to actually win the war. The nuclear guys haven't. They're just saying, if we just put the facts out, people will finally believe us. This is a political battle. And I'm happy to bring my lessons learned from the solar industry to the nuclear industry. But I think that this notion that we have a functioning nuclear power industry that has the ability to play the game is fanciful. There is a fairly straightforward way to save all those plants. But the nuclear industry has to actually pursue it. The guys who own Pilgrim aren't even trying to save it. It's everyone who doesn't own Pilgrim in the nuclear industry who's saying, oh, wouldn't it be nice to save Pilgrim? Most of the people that you hear are not the nuclear industry. They're people who are in favor of nuclear technologies. And I know that I don't garner many friends within the industry when I say this, but Entergy is perfectly happy to shut down Pilgrim, and so are Entergy's friends because they all perceive that right now there's an oversupply of electricity. They'll shut down their nuclear plants, and people say, well, how can they do that? And then, of course, the answer is that all of them have decommissioning funds already put aside, so they'll come out looking fine on their balance sheet, and they'll drive the price of electricity up for all the rest of their generating plants. 